I absolutely dread loading into this household. Guys, look at how many Sims are on the left and they're all screaming and they're all stuck in one area. What did I just walk into? What happens to the Sims 2's town of Pleasant View after 20 years? I have played this town extensively, which has all been captured here on YouTube. I'll leave a card in the top right where you can binge that playlist. But about 20 years in game time has passed in Pleasant View. And I wanted to show you all everything that has changed and evolved over that time span. Just a quick side note here, if you're wondering how I get my game to look all pretty like this, I will leave a card in the top right where you can watch my Sims 2 Ultimate Visual Guide that I made. It is super thorough, super long. So to kick off this video, I thought what better way than to start off with probably the most iconic household in The Sims 2, the goth household. Now, obviously this doesn't look like your typical goth house. This is actually a revamped, beautiful goth mansion by a creator named Fratana's Makeovers on Tumblr. They have great revamps of all of The Sims 2 base game houses. In this house, we have Miss Cassandra, who yes, she is now an elder. Oh, that's Dawn. Yep, we're up close and personal with Dawn, I guess. Cassandra is now an elder. As you can see, she's graying, but they live in this house and this is where they raise their brood of children. They have so many kids, guys. They have so many kids. It's absolutely crazy. Cassandra's out here lounging in the garden area and she's still married to Dawn, actually. He never was caught by Cassandra for cheating and he has a whole family tree of his own, guys. He has so many kids that his fills the left and right sides of the screen from left to right. So we can start off with these because these are his main children with Cassandra. So Belladonna is the oldest. However, all four of these kids right here are quadruplets because I had a mod that was giving me multiples for like every birth and it was just chaos. Belladonna, Bex, Bonnie and Brooks are our quads. Next, we had Harlow and Harris, who were twins. And then we had Axel, who is a single birth, and Ian, who is also a single birth. As you can tell, Harlow, who is a teenager, she actually has a child of her own named Julia. And Julia is the product of the Don Jr. Uh, he's gonna be the next Casanova of Plus of You, I'm calling it right now. Carlo Ramirez, who is the son of Lisa Ramirez and Chico Ramirez, who are Blue Water Village pre-mates. So if you don't recognize them. They aren't traditionally in Pleasant View, but I moved them in and added them to the rotation. So Harlow had a teen pregnancy. I, I think I deleted all my hairs because these are not the hairs I gave to any of these Sims and it's kind of upsetting to me. Don is playing the piano over here. Gotta love it. He is really great at creativity skill. It's quite high. It's actually his highest skill. So he just bangs on the piano, you know, day in and day out. Mortimer is long past, by the way, if you're wondering what's up with Mortimer. I can give you guys a little tour of the house too. This place is just absolutely stunning and it just gives like old money, which I think the goths are at their core old money. And I love this place. Like just so beautiful. Fratana did a great job. And look at this portrait on the wall. Like you're saying that this would not be old money. Come on. Just the architecture of the house, the styling, so pretty. Highly recommend this place. Oh, and I did add some bedrooms here and there because Cassandra and Dawn had so many kids that we needed more bedrooms but yeah most of the kids are moved out by now and obviously they are both elders so there's no more babies in their future thank god because i could not stand it anymore just to show the family tree one more time here it is if you want me to kind of track it down the line we have bella and mortimer who obviously had cassandra bella is alive in my playthrough because i have a clean template by a creator named meet me to the river where it resurrects bella so she is actually walking you'll see her occasionally walking around the town if you ever watch my streams or anything like that mortimer had some several other children as he married Dina, which, oh my gosh, Mortimer has just, he's got a slider because that's how many children are in his legacy here. But he had children with Dina and they had Isabel. They had a prince who is an alien because Dina has alien heritage. If you're wondering why, she's actually a direct descendant of Polynesian Technician number seven. And then their firstborn was Dallas. So that is Mortimer. And then obviously we can track that through Cassandra. And then I already showed Cassandra's family tree. Cassandra and Don 
Jones Firstborn also has a baby. She had a baby named Harvey with Asher Broke, who <laughs> is the son of Brandy and Skip, but we'll get to them shortly here. So this is Dina's house. Dina lives here because she married Mortimer, who brought in a ton of money and he bought her a really beautiful house and she had a bunch of kids and they raised them here together. I say a bunch of kids and it was like only three, okay? Dina is an elder now and she got some work done when Morty died. She got some plastic surgery done, so that's why my Dina probably won't look like yours. She's also an elder. Me and my chat kind of came to the conclusion that I don't think Dina would have gray hair, but I removed some CC, so now she has gray hair, I guess. But here is the house. I think I mentioned it's called Federal Fortress and it is actually unfurnished. So all this ugly furniture you see in here, that was my doing. Yeah, don't think that if you done this house, it will look like this. I'm just really bad at decorating and things like that. That's why I like houses that are already furnished for me because I just, I hate building, renovating and all that kind of stuff. I like the gameplay in the cast, but not so much in building. Dina has actually risen to the ranks in the architecture career. She really wanted to do this. She had a want to be in the architecture career. So I was like, I kind of like that for her because normally she doesn't want to get a job. You know, she just wants to kind of get married and work her way up to wealth through that, but she wanted to be an architect. So I, li I like that idea. Her adult son, Dallas, still lives with her. He doesn't have a job, but he loves to play his drums. He's really into that. And he has a girlfriend. He's actually going study with Sophie Miguel. I have a mom that makes it so adults have to go study, not just teens, because in The Sims 2, if you don't know, only teens have to do the going study thing and adults just have to go right into ge engagement. It's kind of odd. And then last but not least, we actually have Isabel down here. She has a crush on her friend named Emery and it's like a one-sided crush. I think it's super cute that her first person she ever had a crush on, you can kind of see her want here, is this fall in love with Emery, was one of her best friends. I don't know, I think it's super wholesome. And then still at school, we have Prince Goth, who, as I mentioned, is an alien because Dina has alien ancestry. That's what Dina's been up to, just climbing the ranks. She was very sad after Mortimer died, but she is actually getting with Gilbert Jacquette, who is a Blue Water Village sim. He owns the bakery in Blue Water Village, and he actually has a lot of money. Uh, he's quite a bit younger than her, but she doesn't mind, and I don't think Gilbert minds either. The next family is actually one of the bonus families that I was talking about. It is the Ramirez family. So traditionally, they are a Blue Order Village family, and you might actually know this family by Chico, who owns Chico's Fine Furniture in Blue Order Village. I decided to work them into the Pleasant View rotation just for some more variety. I don't know, it's something I never did before, so I decided to do it. Chico and Lisa have a daughter named Tessa. She is a child, so you can see she's a fully grown adult now with a college degree and a huge huge forehead with that hairstyle oh my lord as you can see i played this town for quite a long time in order for her to have been an adult but they also had three other children three boys and probably the most interesting sim in this household is carlo who is about to age up to an adult or i guess he wants to go to college so he'll be a young adult pretty soon i have a mod called acr i'm sure a lot of you when you heard that that meant nothing to you but acr what it essentially does it is autonomous casual romance my sims autonomously will go up to each other and try to kiss or romance other sims or even woohoo. Now this ACR mod can be used on teens as well and unfortunately Carlo here has a Casanova personality. He is a romance sim so he just loves him some romance so he was like pursuing all of his fellow high school peers in town in Pleasant View. As you can see he's got Catherine Broke as a romantic interest. He's got Emery Pleasant as a romantic interest. He's got Harlow Lothario, who we just met as a romantic interest. He is quite literally Dawn 2.0. He will be the next generation's Dawn. As I mentioned with ACR, it actually does have autonomous woohoo. He autonomously woohooed with Harlow Lothario, who we met earlier. It's Cassandra and Dawn's daughter, and they had Juliet. But not only Harlow, Catherine. Catherine's parents are Brandy and Don Lothario. If you just noticed, these two are actually half sisters, Harlow and Catherine, meaning Carlo got with half sisters. Like he got both of the half sisters pregnant. Oh my God. Every time he appears on a public lot, I have my teen girls run away from him because he'll find some way somehow to romance them and schmooze them and God forbid get them pregnant. I cannot deal with another Carlo baby, okay? I've been also been playing open for business with Chico Ramirez up here in his furniture store. Here is Chico's furniture store, Chico's fine furniture. I actually have a remodeled 
version by a creator named Catherine TCJD on Mob The Sims if you want to pick this up for yourself. It's actually really nice and what I like about this is it has a lot more items than Chico's Finer Furniture does in base game Sims 2 Open for Business. So really nice, great lot. I have a bunch of employees too and they've actually been working on their badges. If you've never played Sims 2 Open for Business, try it out. It's a really fun experience. It's unlike any of the other Open for Business expansions that have been in other Sims games like The Sims 3. I think The Sims 3, the only Open for Business there was was like the bakery set and the savvy seller set from the sims 3 store so they didn't even come in an expansion and sims 4 i don't even know what's going on in sims 4 but sims 2 open for business is really cohesive it's actually really fun the store is actually closed right now so that's why there's no customers or anything like that the next family is the broke family and this is where brandy broke and darren dreamer they got married in my game this is where they currently are living i love this house so much this is a style of house you see frequently here in america family style home and i just love it it's so cozy to me and it's very familiar because i see houses like this all the time where i live in the suburbs i believe a cheat was used in order to have these staircases like this so as you can see one set of stairs leads to the basement where there are a bunch of rooms down here and then another set of stairs leads you up to the main level here but it's just really nice but here's brandy and darren they're eating dirty nasty fly infested hamburgers early in the morning i guess but it's nice to see that these two still enjoy each other's company and they always are very nice together nice couple i'm pretty sure darren's like getting really old yeah darren is 65 i think my elders live for like 70 days maybe i can't remember they have also had a huge brood of children themselves. Brandy wants to have 20 grandchildren. Oh my god, she might get there actually. The only children that Brandy and Darren had together were Kiana over here and Quora who share a bedroom and then they also had Betty Dreamer together so they had three kids and then this last baby right here is Kane and Kane if you remember is Carlo and Catherine who Catherine's currently at university this is their baby. She got pregnant when she was a teenager and then gave birth to this baby. And Brandy's raising it as she's in college. Brandy doesn't mind. She loves kids, so I don't think that she would really be too upset about having to raise Kane. She loves her children and her grandchildren. I thought that this was so perfect for Brandy. She's a substitute teacher, which is just so good for her. I mean, she's around kids all day. She loves kids. And normally Brandy doesn't ever want to get a job, but I can't remember if she wanted the education career, if I pushed her into it. If I pushed her into it, I mean, it's pretty fitting for her. Aaron's still paying and all that kind of stuff. There was also a ton of other kids living in this household. Fortunately, they did move out. One of the notables was the Broke Trio, the Broke Brothers, the Broke Bachelors, however you want to say that. These are where the Broke Brothers are living currently, and they are just living their most bachelor life you have ever seen. I mean, they have multiple romantic interests, you know, they have their own bedroom so they can come back and woohoo, they even have a heart bed. They're also climbing in their careers. These are Brandy and Skip's unborn babies. Mine ended up being triplets. If you have a clean template, they can actually be triplets or quads or twins or whatever you have. And not only that, they can be male or female. So these are Brandy and Skip's kids. <laughs> he just bumped noses with her. This is Tessa, by the way. Tessa Ramirez, who's uh, Chico and Lisa's daughter. You're probably also wondering, Maddie, where is Dustin and Bo? Like, where did you put them? Well, they currently live here together in the trailer park. Dustin, unfortunately, didn't have good enough grades to go to college and he moved out of Brandy's house. She was having a ton of babies and needed the space, so he kind of got kicked out by proxy. And the only thing he had money for was to move into the trailer park, but after Bo graduated college, he moved in with his older brother because once again, the household was very crowded and he wanted to get his butt out of there. And so they lived together. Dustin had an empty bedroom and he's like, hey, why don't you move in with me? And Bo's like, okay. So even though they are not in the greatest circumstance in terms of living, don't have the biggest place, they are one of my favorite brother combos in this entire town because of how they look out for each other. And I think it's so sweet. Dustin has been looking out for Bo his whole life. That's so to say brandy's kids have 
been pretty much spread out all across town. As I mentioned, we have Dustin and Bo living in the trailer park. We have the unborn baby brokes, or my what I call them as the broke bros, the broke bachelors living in the apartment complex over here. So they're spread all across town. I mean, Brandy always has a million kids, so no wonder they're all across the town. But some kids who are not Brandy's, Dirk Dreamer, who is Darren's son. Dirk's family has actually been such a delight to play. It is a very suburban, very domestic, and family-oriented household. So when Dirk was in college, he met a sim named Katie Kearney. Now, Katie is a townie. She might not have the name Katie in your gameplay, but she will look like this. The names are randomly generated. She is absolutely stunning. Maybe one of the prettiest townies I think I've ever seen in The Sims 2. So of course, I had to have somebody pursue her, and what better person than Dirk? I actually think Dirk, when he was younger, was a bit of a playboy, and so I think he cheated on Lilith. I know, I know, not the best, okay? He's grown up, he's, he's changed his ways, all right? But he ended up somehow, I forget how exactly, he ended up with Katie, and they have just had this really beautiful, blossoming family. They have their teenage daughter here, their firstborn, Naomi. Wow, look how low quality this lot looks. Oh my goodness. Oh, she has a want to go to college, yay! She just aged up to a teenager, actually, but here she is. Dirk's out here, too, with his family. Like I said, just a very domestic family. Absolutely love them. They also have a daughter named Zaya, and they have their first ever born son ever right here, and I think they're pretty much done with babies. I hope so, at least. They're about to outgrow their house. They're gonna need more bedrooms if they have any more kids. I guess now that I mentioned Lilith Pleasant and her relationship with Dirk, I should probably show what Lilith's been up to. So this is the house she currently lives in. And this house was actually the house I gave to Herb and Coral Oldie who have long since passed. If you don't know, Herb and Coral are actually Lilith's grandparents on Mary Sue's side. She moved in with Herb and Coral because she was having a really sour relationship with her parents, Daniel and Mary Sue. And so Lilith lived growing up with her grandparents, super sweet storyline, but this is where I had them living. So when they passed, she actually inherited their house. That's just kind of where she's been living since then. This house, once again, is by Fratano's Makeovers if you're interested. It's only one floor, so I added a second floor actually, and it looks really nice with the second floor. Like it looks really balanced. It's a really nice family home. So here's Lilith. She is a certified boy mom. She only has boys, and I feel like that is very fitting if you know Lilith. Like, look at her. <laughs> she's a fully grown woman. She's just rocking out to music, okay? They also have a cat named Bailey. They have a dog named Jake. And Lilith has a husband. Why is he sleeping in the kids' room? I don't know. This is her husband. Her, his name is Curtis. And Curtis is a townie, much like Katie Kearney is a townie. His name is actually Ash Alito. I just know that offhand because when you asked what his Sims 2, like Sim PE name would be. So here's Curtis. He's very handsome. I think she met him while she was in college or while she was a teen. I can't quite remember, but here's what he looks like. And they have just had a brood of children. I don't think Lilith ever consciously wanted children. I think that she just kept getting pregnant. In my opinion, I think that these two, Curtis and Lilith, wouldn't ever get legally married. I don't think that they would like believe in the institution of marriage. You know how Lilith is. She's always kind of been edgy, kind of an outsider. The cat just peed on the floor. Nice Bailey, okay. They have so many kids. They have Wilder up here who looks just like his mom. As you can see, he's got those freckles, the red hair. And then we also have some other boys. So many boys, so many boys, guys. We have Dean and his brother behind him, Dylan. And then we have Dante who is wearing a Santa cap or a sleep cap. I don't I don't know what's going on there. I can't talk about Lilith without talking about her mom and her twin sister, obviously. So here we are at the Pleasant House, which has seen a lot. This Pleasant House has been absolutely crazy. Daniel died of sickness when he was actually quite young. I think when he, oh my gosh, there's a baby in the way. The baby, oh, there's not the baby in the roaches. What is going on in this house? I think that the Pleasant House probably has one of the most interesting stories, in my opinion, that I've come up with in this save file. So Angela went to college, right? She's wonky-eyed. Why are you wonky-eyed, Angela? Angela went to college, and when she went to college, she started thinking that she was better than her longtime high school boyfriend, Dustin. So she cut it off with Dustin while she was in college, but uh, she actually ended up pregnant, and she never told him. So she ended up having this baby up here, Rory, who's now a child, and Dustin never knew. I guess because he's like a redhead, she can kind of pass it off. But there were so many instances where we saw 
saw Dustin kind of walking past the property like he knew something was up. Like he probably heard rumblings that the baby that Angela just gave birth to was his. I mean, the timing matched up. I'm sure he could figure it out. So Angela being broke and just out of college had to move back in with her mom and live with her mom, Mary Sue, and be her mom's caretaker. But Angela decided to hook up again with Dustin, just like a one-off fling. And lo and behold, she gets pregnant again. <laughs> she gets pregnant again with yet another baby. And this baby is Carolina. This baby has Dustin's blonde hair. So I feel like Angela is kind of, as she's getting older, she's okay with the idea of Dustin being back in her life. Like she's getting over that complex where she feels like she's better than Dustin. If you don't know, I actually really don't like Angela. So that's probably why I'm pushing this storyline on her. She always seems like the sister, in my opinion, that antagonized Lilith. Like if you just look and just leave those two in a room together, usually it's Angela always antagonizing Lilith. So I'm not partial to Angela. I don't like her. I love Lilith though. So I will be a Lilith stan through and through, okay? One of the craziest households is this one right here. This is the Caliente and Langerak household, which has Nina Caliente and then Kaylin Langerak, which is actually Pleasant View's maid, but I decided to move her into the town and kind of give her her own rotation of herself. I absolutely dread loading into this household. Guys, look at how many Sims are on the left and they're all screaming and they're all stuck in one area. What did I just walk into? Okay, this looks like a lot. It's because it is a lot. First, I should probably start off with an explanation. Yes, Nina and Kaylin are married. I got them married in my safe. I like the idea of them together. They both have been scorned by a lot of men in their lives and I feel like they deserved a happy ending. And also they were roommates before this. Basically, Kaylin moved into this place. She needed a roommate. And so Nina replied to her listing and moved in with her kids she had at the time. Kaylin had a brood of kids of her own. Let me show the family tree here. Kaylin has so many babies. But at that time she had triplets and then Nina had two kids of her own. Maybe basically raised their kids together as roommates and then they found out that there was something a little bit more which I like. If you're wondering about the parentage behind Kaylin's kids some of them are fathered by Daniel others are fathered by John Burb none other than John Burb who we'll get to in a second bald John Burb oh my gosh here's their cute little place that they're living in it's a lot honestly this is a lot to deal with I really I don't like playing this household. I usually speed through it because it's just too many kids for me to deal with. And look how many Sims are like on the left here. It's just too much. But I'm glad that Kaylin and Nina got their happy ending. That's not to say Nina still wants to woohoo at 10 different Sims. So I don't know what's going to go on there, but to be determined. The father of Nina's children is well one of them is fathered by a townie which i don't know why i let her do that but whatever i digress the other one is fathered by don lothario speaking of the burb family and john burb we're loading into the burb family right now as it says but john burb actually doesn't live here if you don't know who the burbs are they are a bin family and you usually place them down because jen is daniel's sister I renamed her Jennifer Pleasant because she actually got divorced from John. John in The Sims 2 tends to be a secondary romance, which means he's a cheater. And so Jen being the girl boss, she is, I love her so much. She didn't want to take that. She didn't want to be cheated on. And so she divorced John and ended up being a single mom. This is the house they live in. It's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It's by Furtano's makeovers on Tumblr. It's a little bit small for them, but it does its job. They raise a lot of babies in here. Jen and John usually have Lucy. I mean, they do have Lucy. She's a child, but I moved her out with her wife, Ivy Burb, and they adopted little Frankie Burb. And Frankie is actually the son of Tessa Ramirez, who we talked about earlier, and Alexander Goff, because Alexander Goff is also a cheater in this town. Lots of cheaters. We don't like that. Anyways, before Jen and John got divorced, they had a couple of other kids. So, I mean, they have a, John has so many kids. I did not realize he had so many. They had Griffin who lives here. They had Monroe. 
They also had Valens, but there is one extra Sim in this household, which I haven't covered yet. This is Remington Harris. So after Jen became a single mom, you know, she's a busy woman. She is a in the Sim CIA. She's in the intelligence career. She does not have time to clean her house. So she hired a maid and the maid was actually Remington Harris. So he is the county maid that you will get. He's a service Sim that will come and clean your house. Jen actually liked Remington. Like she thought he was very attractive. She thought he was handsome and she just, you know, he would clean her house and she would like to, she would like to peer, you know, she was sitting here at her desk doing her work and he was working in the in the kitchen she would like to look at him you know cleaning the counters and cleaning up the plates and so she's like he's he's pretty good looking isn't he so she decided to hit him up and it was actually super cute because remington was like her first relationship outside of her after her divorce with john and she finally got her happy ending and she got another little baby out of it she got chris pleasant who is in here he's crying i don't know why chris has red hair Wait, does he have red hair? No, I think that's brown hair. I think his portrait is just red because he's in a bad mood. I'm sorry. Jen is a really good mom and she loves family, but she also was like married to her work. So she's got to, she got to find a balance, but she just had a new baby. I'm happy for her that she got her happy ending with Remington. These two are still engaged. They aren't like officially married yet. They've kind of been preoccupied with life and all those other things. But you know who doesn't deserve a happy ending? It's John Burb. We don't like John Burb on this channel because he's a secondary romance. The only time I like John Burb is actually in my Sims 3 Pleasant View save because he's a really good father there. But when you make him a secondary romance, which is what his aspiration calculator actually ends up being, he turns into a massive, massive cheater. And so he has a ton of romantic interest. He's also a one-sided love with Jen, which really goes to show he's like stuck up on his ex-wife. Like he just, he can't get over over her because she's too good for John. He's a cheater and she's just an awesome girl boss businesswoman. He does not deserve her. Anyway, so John moved in to this apartment right here. There was an empty room. And so he responded to a listing, Tessa Ramirez's listing, and they actually hit off a relationship because Tessa herself is a romance sim. John is a secondary romance sim. It was like a match made in heaven. Tessa got to move in with this guy and now they have another room empty and they can sleep in the same bed and all that kind of stuff. If you don't know who Tessa is, if you need a little refresher it is the daughter of chico and lisa which i've touched on she has this hairstyle which i absolutely despise i'm gonna change that makes her forehead look huge let's give her oh that's cute on her i like that curly hair i think i'm gonna give her like this ariana grande hairstyle though it looks very girl boss of her there we go anyway so that's what john has been up to just being a bum i'm not too fond of john tessa is a level eight in the slacker career which is kind of crazy that's pretty high up john is level seven i think they actually met at work the last thing i wanted to cover in this video is Al Alexander Goff. You know, the little, the little boy Alexander Goff that normally lives in the, the Goff mansion when you load up Sims 2 Pleasant View to fresh clean save. What is he up to? Oh, you know, just casually cheating on his beautiful and lovely wife, Melody Tinker. Yeah, no, no big deal. No, totally big deal. He's a cheater. I don't know what happened. Alexander has always been like a nerdy boy growing up, insecure, nerdy, all that, all, all, the, all that kind of stuff. No, he just repeatedly cheated on Melody Tinker. She is a Blue Water Village sim, if you don't know. They met when they were teenagers. They literally went to college together, grew up together, had kids together, got married, all that kind of stuff. But he still cannot get over his old college fling, Tessa Ramirez. Before he got with Melody Tinker, like officially, he hooked up with Tessa and just like a moth to a flame, he kept coming back. Another thing about this relationship is that Melody is actually the breadwinner for this family. Alexander has never had a want to get a job. I mean, this, this man just doesn't care about getting a job. I think it's because he was kind of born into wealth and he's never really had to work for his money. He's always just been the heir to like a million dollars. You know what I mean? So he's never had any urgency to get a job, to support his family. So Melody is actually the one going to work she's having kids she's taking care of the kids she's going to work all that kind of stuff so it's quite unfortunate that Alexander has no work ethic and he's a cheater. I mean, pick a struggle, dude. I feel really bad for Melody and she deserves better, okay? Justice for Melody. They have a ton of kids together. They have Omari down here. They have Zaheer over here. They have Zayn who's playing the piano and they have baby Giselle who is their firstborn daughter. Alexander also has another baby. 
and that baby doesn't live with him and he might not even know that that baby exists and that baby lives in this house right here and is actually being raised by his two mothers lucy burb whose hair got default replaced and now she has the same hair as her wife i can't let that happen okay that's a little bit better here we go so we have ivy burb right here and lucy burb absolutely love them they are so cute together but they have a son named frankie who they adopted so biologically this baby is related to tessa ramirez who's right here and alexander goff i don't the baby doesn't even know alexander goff on the family tree obviously it is going to show lucy and ivy as the parents and i also went ahead and i made it so melody and ivy are sisters because i just thought i kind of wanted to work ivy somewhere into the game and so she is a tinker now i made her a child of stefan and wanda and she's also melody's sister so her son is literally related to melody's husband so melody doesn't know about it and alexander honestly probably doesn't know about it either here's little frankie here he's so cute he looks just like alexander i love Love him and he's gonna be raised with all the love in the world with his mothers and these two girls also just moved into this house this is their first ever house they bought together they just got out of the apartment they actually live with tessa and john in that apartment and they finally decided to get their own place it was kind of a weird arrangement because ivy and lucy decided to adopt their old roommate tessa's baby but tessa knew that she couldn't raise frankie right in that tiny little apartment so they decided to go ahead and adopt these two love each other they are constantly autonomously going up to each other and kissing and hugging and they're just so cute together so that is what my pleasant view looks like after 20 in-game years i streamed the entire 20 in-game years here on my youtube channel and i re-uploaded the videos if you are interested in knowing how i get my game to look like this i will leave a card in the top right where you can watch my sims 2 ultimate visual update guide and yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed and i will catch you all in the next one peace out guys